ago, um, I was talking to my nine-year-old daughter, uh, Tato, who wanted an iPhone 11, nine years old, and we discussed the evolution of the cell phone. At one point, I thought about how far we've come. Not that long ago, everything in our cities was run on paper. It took days to get letters, processes were convoluted, and you couldn't track 911 or 311 calls. When you put lights on the streets, you couldn't turn them up and down to save energy. You couldn't control your heat or AC for facilities from anywhere, nor could you track how your snow fleet or police or any other devices were being managed. But times have changed, and we were able to deliver dynamic services to our residents because of new technology. We are more effective and efficient in meeting our residents' needs. That is why I'm excited to host this conference here in our great city of Rochester, the city that birthed the modern-day computer mouse, the military drone, satellite technology, digital cameras, and other world-class technologies. A city whose companies can continue to protect our most precious assets, our nation. I want to thank the Intelligent Community Forum and its founders, Lou and John, for their hard work and encourage their innovation. partnerships that we've used here in Rochester to benefit our community. We're glad you're here with us today and that you chose this city to host this event. Who uh, is from Rochester, Lion, so we're, we're telling him welcome home. Uh, we appreciate that. And we're proud to be named twice a Smart 21 community. We look forward to showing you some of what's happening here in Rochester and learning from you, our national and international friends in this effort. And this truly is an international gathering today. I want to welcome our visitors from Canada, the Netherlands, Taiwan, as well as many other areas of the United States. I'm especially proud to have with us today Lee Wen Shea and Dr. Kenny Chen from Taiwan. Intelligent Community of the Year. Congratulations. We are so very, very happy to have you here in Rochester. I'd also like to thank Mark Buckley, the city's interim CIO, and Lee Tobias, our telecommunications director, our commissioner of DES, Norman Joes, and of course, one of our uh, previous interns who turned into a rock star and made this event a rock star, Marlena Zink. <laughs> Please also join me in thanking our sponsors that's listed on the back of the program. This event would not have been possible without each and every one of them. I want to thank them for their support and their leadership. As you can see, there are many contributors from Rochester and beyond. Thank you for making this conference possible. I'd also like to welcome the Rochester business and technology community that's here today. Progress takes partnership. And our businesses and technology community, our not for profits and our academic institutions are all vital to Rochester's success. Finally, I would like to welcome the many students, again, um, that are here from our local high schools, colleges, and universities. It is you who will be leading our future, discovering new ways of doing business and new ways of using technology for generations to come. I hope you come away from this conference inspired to put your skills to work to benefit all of our communities. And so I welcome you all. As we look to the future together, we will be well served to think about our moments of the past, to a vision where technology has taken us, and think back to a world of my parents and grandparents and all of the tremendous change they saw. The spread of electricity, air travel, television, the birth of the personal computer, and the internet. What we take for granted were fantasies just two or three generations ago. So now when I think of my daughter and her dreaming of an iPhone, I can only imagine what her children and grandchildren and my grandchildren will ask for. Our challenge today is that we must build communities where technology serves everyone and helps to build a more just world. Where all of our children can achieve their dreams, I hope that this conference helps you make this vision a reality. So thank you all for coming to Rochester. 